up with the Pentagon today held closed-door meetings to discuss climate change. Our top story tonight, the president is announcing the Cosmic Shield Project, which aims to halt the disintegration of the Greenland ice sheet. Imagine now that you are the president of the United States, and you have word that Greenland is going to collapse in the next 10 years, adding seven meters of sea level. I'm not saying that is happening today. I'm saying imagine that were to happen. And you were told that technology exists to stop it. Wouldn't you be tempted to use it? It didn't take long for the world to agree. A technology existed that could stop the ice sheets from melting. It should be used. Hundreds of jets from all around the world were spraying a mist of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. The gas would form particles which would shade the earth and temporarily cool it. This is your solution of last resort. You say all bets are off, we are just going to intervene in this system with reckless abandon. For a year, there were these spectacular sunsets. But what are the other consequences of those things? Maybe it would cool the Earth, maybe it would cool it too much. Uh, that might be a disaster in the opposite direction. Maybe it would cause some other environmental problem that we don't foresee today. The Earth cooled, but that was the least of it. Tonight in Washington, there's debate over whether to follow China and Great Britain and cease flying Cosmic Shield missions. We've learned that in all aspects of engineering, there are unintended consequences. The Surgeon General testified before Congress today on the health effects of further depleted... The cloud was burning off the ozone layer. Once that was gone, every living creature would be exposed to a massive dose of radiation. The experiment was halted. Once they stopped spraying the gas, the ice sheets continued to melt, but now at a quicker pace. Sea level rise would soon be measured in feet, not inches. 